Evolution. Defined by the Stetson's Dunstan's dictionary is change over time. That is indeed the correct answer, but how fast do animals really evolve? The world has been around for many years. Life only appears on almost twelve o'clock. Which raises a question. What factors contribute to animal evolution, adaptation? And unfortunately, extension. This is rocket science, and we have the pleasure of presenting rates of evolution in plain English. Scientists have divided rates of evolution on two modes, being gradualism and punctuated equilibrium. As noted in the chart, gradualism is steady and gradual change over a certain time. Animals have to evolve or else they will become extinct. Take the example of a fish that had small changes to adapt and compete better in his environment. Take note that in discharge we have a constant evolution and then a dramatic change, followed by constant evolution again. This is guided by environmental changes which force the animal to adapt. Take the example of this forest, which has a population of moths which are affected by the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution affects the forest, making trees become covered with a layer of black dirt and clouds. This makes it harder for white moths to camo, which are eaten by birds. Don't eat me! This makes it harder for gray moths to camo, which are eaten by birds. My wife! My kid! Black population grows, replacing white and gray moths. Oh yeah, boy! We win, boy! Don't mess with us! Track boys! Track boys. Oh. You heard the name! Oh. Take one.